Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use your camcorder and connect it as a webcam using the cheapest cam link you can find in the market. So let's go. The first part of the hardware is the camcorder. This is the camcorder that we'll be using. It shoots up to 4K. It is attached onto a mini tripod. This camcorder is selling about $208 on Shopee. It has Wi-Fi enabled so you can check control with your phone. I've also attached the Rode video mic on the camcorder which improves the sound quality itself as compared to the microphone that is built in the camcorder itself. Next is the USB capture card. It doesn't require any power because it's run on USB 2.0. It captures up to 1080p. It has a USB output and for input will be the HDMI in. It has a metal finish, small and compact, easy to bring around. This will be the device that we use to connect and capture our camcorder footage onto our PC. At $10, it's by far the cheapest capture card. Next, you will need a HDMI cable. Here, I'm using a mini HDMI to HDMI because the camera uses a mini HDMI. Alternatively, you can get the adapter from Daiso at $2. To set it up, you need to take your HDMI cable and plug into your camcorder, like so. Next, using the HDMI cable, connect to the capture card. And lastly, capture card onto your PC. The computer will recognize the capture card and install the driver, so you do not need to install any software. To set it up on Zoom, firstly set up a meeting. Okay, currently I'm on a C920 as my default. So I click camera, select USB camera, and now it's filming on the camcorder set at 4K resolution. To set it up on Google Meet, open up Google Meet, start the meeting. Okay, I'm on a default Logitech C920, so I will go under setting, video, select camera to USB video. So now it's filming on the camcorder, resolution at 4K. Let's compare the three cameras. First one will be the camcorder. Second will be the PS3 camera. Link above if you're not sure how to connect it. Okay, then will be the Logitech C920. Alright, let's compare the footages that we have. Currently, I'm on the Logitech C920 filming at 1080p. Over here will be the uh, PS3 camera shooting at 640. And then over here will be the camcorder set at 4K resolution. Okay, there's no doubt that this quality here is so much better than here. Okay, can you even imagine if let's say you comp change this camcorder into a DSLR with lenses, the quality will be so much better. But one thing that I don't like about this camcorder is that you actually have to uh, put your camera far away from you in order for you to get the full frame. Uh, this is because it do not have a wide angle lens uh, built in inside the camcorder. Okay, on a final note, I'd like to share a little bit more about this $10 capture card which I've been using for about 2 months. Uh, in my personal opinion, it's comparable to the Elgato Cambling which I've been using for quite some time in the past. So, but one thing bad about this is somehow I re rather I realized that it gets very warm or rather hot in after a few minutes of using but so far it has not filled me yet. Anyway, at 120 of the price of an El Elgato Cambling, it's definitely something you want to have with you or something for you to check it out. I hope you find this video useful in teaching you how to use your camcorder and a capture card to actually use it as a webcam. But if a capture card and a camcorder is out of your budget, I would recommend you to actually use your phone as a webcam instead. Click the link up here where I have a free and easy method to actually use your phone as a webcam for Google Meet, Zoom and Skype. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe to the channel as it will really help the channel grow. Do join me in my live stream uh, on Twitch every Friday, Saturday and Sunday after 9pm and I will see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe everybody.